Greetings. Thank you for participating in the first annual China America Writing Contest, sponsored by Malden Access Television, The Malden Observer, Malden Reads, and High Expectations. My name is Lynn Leonard, and I am the owner of High Expectations. The goal of the essay contest was to encourage students to develop their writing ability, a skill critical to their future academic and professional success, and to think about the world from a wider, more global perspective. We also wanted to connect students from China and America in an academic setting where they can exchange their unique perspective and learn from one another. Introducing aspects of different cultures into the classroom promotes critical thinking and intellectual growth. I had the privilege of reviewing all the essays and thoroughly enjoyed the creative, heartwarming, and thought-provoking essays. We hope you will participate in our upcoming programs and join us again for next year's contest. METV Malden's Media Center got involved with this project because it ties in with our mission of connecting community, promoting civic engagement, and nurturing arts and culture in the city of Malden. High Expectations has been an active organization at MATV, and we've been helping them use media production in their work with educating and empowering youth. MATV is a partner with Malden Reads One City One Book, which is all about promoting literacy, and we have a citizen journalism program which is about teaching people good writing skills and telling stories effectively. So supporting this project was a natural extension of our mission and we were proud to partner with High Expectations on the College Essay Writing Contest. My name is Leslie Brokaw and I'm a teacher at Emerson College in Boston, Massachusetts and I was one of the judges for this competition. Um, it was really uh, a pleasure to be able to uh, be one of the judges and get to read all of the essays. Um, there were two essays in particular that I really was struck by. Uh, one was uh, an essay that's called um, A Letter to Nature. And there were a lot of essays that looked at environme environmental issues in China. Um, but this one um, made use of storytelling technique by talking about um, uh, an episode at school and, you know, used dialogue and those kind of techniques and those kind of elements I thought really gave it a lot of life and a lot of momentum when I was reading it to kind of pull me through. It also talked about how the, um, the author had written a letter to, um, I guess it was the Shanghai Environmental Protection Agency or some name like that um, with concern about environmental issues and ended up, um, instead of being uh, sort of uh, held up as somebody who was um, caring about their community, um, you know, suffered a censure and um, was told that they'd brought um, some shame to their school for speaking out. You know, just on its own, that's such a compelling story and it was told really beautifully. And to my mind, it made it a real standout essay. So, you know, the, the, uh, the lessons to take from that are to, you know, find a good essay, uh, a good story from your own life. Um, try to add some storytelling elements of dialogue and of scene and of place and then also fold in stats and facts and figures and you'll have yourself the elements and the, sort of the base for a really nice piece of writing. The other one that I liked was also about environmental, environmental issues and it was called Starry Night and it talked about how it's very difficult to see the stars um, in parts of China because of all the smog and um, I thought this was a successful essay because it started out with the author talking about um, spending time as a younger child, being able to see the stars and what a powerful feeling that was and uh, you know how much that was missed. And again, um, uh, a lot of the essays talked about environmental issues and brought in a lot of interesting facts and figures, but the ones that really took it up a step were the ones that had this layer of um, sort of personal experience and personal passion. Um, that, that made it um, uh, something that just was more compelling and um, just a wonderful piece of writing. And my last bit of advice is just how to make your writing better. Um, you know, one is to try to do a little bit every day, but the other is, is something that's really, really difficult. It's really difficult for adults. It can be equally difficult for, um, for teenagers. And that's to share your writing with somebody else and to get their feedback. 
to hear from somebody else you know, where you're making your point in ways that are really clear, where you're making your point in ways that feel kind of muddy and could be um, uh, just more concise and more crisp, and to be willing to um, kind of uh, put yourself out there um, and make yourself a little bit vulnerable when you ask for advice is the hardest thing, um, but it definitely pays off, particularly if you can find somebody who is willing to work with you and willing to help you make your writing better. So good luck to all of you, and, and I really hope that, uh, that I get to read you um, someday, someplace uh, here in the States. Thank you very much. Hi everyone, my name is Patrick and I'm an English teacher at High Expectations. This summer we offered an intensive ELA workshop and it was by all counts very successful. Our students are mainly high school age and they were able to improve their writing, their reading comprehension, their sentence structure, their ability to organize their thoughts and ideas in outlines and paragraphs. and. Um, I think that now they are very well prepared to return to high school now that fall is upon us and they'll also be uh, better prepared to take the SAT. So um, we're, we're very happy we, we offered it and we're excited to do it again in the near future. Hello everyone, I'm Jingguan. I'm a student from Zhengzhou Experimental Foreign Language Middle School in Henan Province of China. Hi, I'm Susan, and for this contest I wrote a letter to my brother talking about how much I loved him, basically. And this was a really cool thing for me to write because I, um, it was just interesting to kind of get in touch with those emotions I was feeling because normally I don't express my love for my brother. Um, normally our family isn't the type of family to really say like, I love you at the end of phone calls and stuff. I want to thank you for bringing me onto a way of classical music and leading me to get interested and involved in it. I especially admire your enthusiasm in helping young amateurs who are interested in classical music without asking for any repayment, and I hope that your efforts exert a great influence on symphony popularization. When I was 10, I visited Huangshan, which is a major uh, tourist attraction in China, famous for its natural beauty, uh, dramatic mountains and starry nights. As darkness fell outside, staring unseeingly out of the window, I saw stars blinking in the dark and surrounding the moon to make it feel less isolated. I marvel at the stars, as I have never seen such beauty in my hometown. A mega city filled with blinding electric light instead of faint starlight. While well, my essay is primarily about how I use my own power writing a letter and not being obeying to the social norms, not being con uh, contentful to the uh, status quo of the factory polluting the, the vicinity environment for school. And that is my primary motivation for writing that letter. That is a, a thing that evokes my own self to change the environment. And I think that process could really tell the audiences all across the world what I was trying to tell in the final paragraph, which is we this is our planet and a place no thing should be done with any reason upon no matter what facade it holds and what light it tells. That clearly indicate my assertion, my claim about we should try our best use, using every effort we have to stop such a sinful behavior from happening. I'm a middle school student and, and I know that. I have the fully awareness of that and I hope you do really taking your responsibility not to damage the planet and acting as a responsible citizen of your country, of the global community, to further enhance people's awareness of this sinful behavior should not be happening.